Today we have uh, a recent LMI Canada graduate, uh, Mr. Joe Sesnik, President and CEO of the Correct Slovenian Credit Union. Joe, would you be kind enough to tell us a little bit about your organization and its services that you provide? Sure, Frank. We're an organization getting close to 100 million in assets. Uh, we're a leader in the Slovenian Credit Union and one of the fastest growing credit unions in the Ontario system. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Joe, uh, I know that you've uh, worked through the LMI process personally to, to trial our, our solution out and as a result of LMI, maybe you could share with us a little bit about some of the business goals that you set and achieved during this process that you went through. Correct Slovenian Credit Union is addressing a number of different issues. Uh, one is member awareness, uh, HR or organizational issues, financial issues, and other strategic issues. In terms of helping us to achieve uh, our targets, LMI has been very instrumental in helping us to get to that end. What kind of growth did you realize when you were working through the LMI process? I know you set some phenomenal goals that uh, were distributed through the organization and your team. Uh, what's the greatest accomplishment uh, in some of the metrics that uh, the credit union was, a, uh, was responsible for in delivering through your leadership? Probably the biggest uh, growth was in the area of deposits. We had a record of 8% growth in our assets which is probably the biggest growth ever. Not only that, we finally surpassed $100 million in assets when we combine our off-balance sheet uh, assets. Wonderful, Joe. So further to that, you know, LMI spent a lot of time on, on goal setting and building the total person, and, and we, we encouraged you to uh, focus on some personal goal setting, nothing to do with work, just about life. Uh, share a little bit about some of those personal goals that you put together and, and, and worked deliberately and, and with focus on that you're proud of. One of the most important things is the family life, which I value the most. And I would have to say, through the LMI process, that has probably made the biggest difference for me. Uh, being uh, very happy and having a good family life certainly reflects very positively on my business life as well. I hear you're running four times a week, Joe. Is that true? Yes, that is. Through winter, through thick and thin. Whatever. <laughs> How many seasons. pounds have you lost, Joe? <laughs> How much weight well, did you we're, lose? We're, we're still recovering uh, from the Christmas holidays, but uh, I can I can say that uh, we've been holding steady. <laughs> well, good for you, Joe. Good for you. Behavioral change. LMI is about behavioral change as well. Um, all leaders, we all have strengths, and strengths get in the way occasionally. What did LMI help you focus on, and what behavioral change do you feel was the greatest uh, value to you in, in applying the techniques to make those changes? As a CEO, for me, it was a, probably a big change or a big shift or let's say even a breakthrough for me with some of the concepts that uh, were applied using the LMI technique. Uh, and these con concepts would be in many different areas, especially dealing with issues of delegating, communicating, and another uh, important functions uh, when it comes to HR issues. So planning and coordinating and developing your team was something that stood Absolutely, out? those are some of the key ingredients to uh, running a very effective organization. Wonderful. Joe, you know, at, at the end of the day, uh, you know what you've accomplished in LMI without a question. How would you summarize the LMI experience to someone who's exploring the interest of possibly taking LMI for a, a trial, for a chance to see what it delivers. How do you summarize it to someone who's never experienced what you've personally experienced here today? I think it's really a breakthrough. You know, it's, when I talk about breakthrough, I'm talking about getting out of that rut, doing the everyday routines. Mm. It's about taking on challenges and becoming very goal-oriented. And I think becoming goal-oriented is probably been the biggest difference. Not only that, through the goal orientation, that in itself has been 
pass on to other members of the team. So collectively, the whole organization has become very much a goal-oriented team. Wonderful. So good return on investment for you? Absolutely. Absolutely. Again, uh, in, in terms of growth and in terms of ROI, we're uh, more than doubling the system results. Congratulations, Joe. Thank Thanks you. for your time today. Okay.